so many followers this man has. So I just want to tell you about another famous man who also has many followers. And before you roll your eyes, <laughs> have a listen to what I have to say. Did you know this? Did you know that Ed Sheeran has lots of tattoos? Well, did you know that on his chest he's got a tattoo of a lion? Well, this is something that Ed Sheeran and Jesus have in common. Because Jesus is also known as the Lion of Judah. Now, the lion is king of the jungle. The lion is full of courage and is bold. And so, you might be wondering, why are we here and why are we talking about Jesus? Jesus came to point us to God. Now, people have many gods and anything can be your God. But this God I'm talking about, this Jesus I'm talking about, he paid a high price. He paid with his life. He came and he lived on earth and he suffered a terrible death, a terrible death. Do you know that a man foretold that Jesus was gonna to come to earth and that Jesus would pay this price? Isaiah, he prophesied 700 years before Jesus was born that he was going to be born. Now, isn't that amazing? Now sometimes we go to fortune tellers or psychics to tell us things. But this God I'm talking about, he's living and he also can tell you things, what we call prophecy. And so Jesus was prophesied by Isaiah who was born 700 years before. Isn't that amazing? Many people want to dispute the Bible, the word of God. Many people don't want to believe that God is real. But as true as I'm standing here, he is real. Because without him, I wouldn't be standing here. I was sick for 23 years, and I was fighting for my life towards the end. I had so many labels of sickness from the medical profession that I just said, no more, no more. I was lying in my bed fighting for my life. Every night they didn't think I was gonna be alive in the morning. And that's why I'm here telling you about Jesus. Whatever's going on in your life, he can help you. He's the answer. And not just for this life, but also the guarantee of eternal life. Life here on earth, with all its pleasures, is just short. It's just a short time. And we might go around living life independently, living life in our own strength, until things come along and shake us and rock us. And then our world doesn't seem so safe. When we reach that point is usually when we cry out to God. Can you imagine the people in Ukraine right now who have lost everything? Can you imagine the sirens going off and bombs coming down? Can you imagine seeing places around you just smashed to pieces? And can you imagine the level of fear that must fill people in that situation? They're crying out to God. Because when we're in that situation, we know there is someone greater than us. We might not know him personally, but we know there's power outside of ourselves. And you know the God I'm talking about, he is the purest form. He is the purest form. There are other forms, but they just want to kill, steal and destroy from you. But this God I'm talking about, this Jesus I'm talking about, he hung on the cross, he was betrayed, he was not treated very well, he was not believed. Some believed in him, and then they did his work, just like we are doing now. So when Jesus resurrected me, his healing power brought me life. And he can bring you life, if you choose. Isn't it wonderful that this Jesus, this God, he gives you a choice? And now you can keep walking by, but this choice can be the biggest decision and the most important decision of your whole life. Because when you die, do you know where you're going? I know exactly where I'm going, so it means I haven't got a fear of death. There is nothing that can come into my life or into this world that can ever make me frightened. And wouldn't you want to be in that place? Wouldn't you want to be that sure? Because for me, if I die, it's win-win. I'm going to, to a beautiful place, a beautiful place with Father God, where there's no pain, 
and no suffering, no anxiety, no depression, no sickness. Isn't that wonderful? And you know, in Isaiah, he said this. He said, but he was pierced for our transgressions. He was crushed for our iniquities. The punishment that brought us peace was on him. And by his wounds, we are healed. And you might not know what that means. Iniquity, transgression, that's us going about our life, doing what we want to do, living our life in our ways. And the problem with that, with that is that it gives the enemy a foothold. Satan is responsible for the bad things that happen in our lives. And often we blame God. God, why did you let this happen? Why did you let that happen? But we don't realize we let it happen. Because unless we're living sinless, holy lives, we make it happen. We open the door to the thief that comes only with one plan and one purpose. And that is to kill, to steal, and to destroy. Every time you don't have peace, you've been robbed. Every time you, you're not in full health, you've been robbed. Every time you feel fear and anxious or depression, you've been robbed. This is the thief that comes only to kill, steal and destroy. But Jesus, he came so that we can have life and have it more abundantly. And that's what happened to me. I was ill for 23 years. It was, I would say hell on earth, but I know hell is worse than that. So it was not very pleasant. And no doctor could help me. But this Jesus, Jesus the healer, he stepped in and he resurrected me. He made me completely well. I couldn't walk, I couldn't sit in a chair, I couldn't even keep food down. One day I was like that, and the next day completely healed. Now, wouldn't you want to be free from sickness, from anxiety, from depression, from fear? Wouldn't you want this? Why wouldn't you want this? So, Jesus is good news. He is good news. And, it, and the scripture says, by his stripes. So, when he hung on that cross, and he was beaten and he was whipped and they put a crown of thorns on his head and they pierced his side. That's a high price. And you know, he paid that price for you and for me. For each one of you, whether you know him or not. He created you. He loves you. He loves you with a love that you, you don't experience in this life. This amazing, unconditional love, which is not dependent on what you do or what you don't do. But he wants you to have eternal life. He wants you to have a good life. He wants you to shut the door to the enemy to keep you safe. So, he gave us free will, so you get to choose. Do you want Jesus? Do you know Jesus? Do you want him in your life? And when you accept that we're all sinners, because the scripture tells us so, we all fall short of the glory of God. We're all sinners. And you might say, no, I'm a good person because I give to charity or I don't do anything bad. But just think about it. Have you ever told a lie? Even a white lie? Have you ever had an angry thought? Have you had sex outside marriage? You see, these ways are not holy because the holiness is by God's standard. And sin separates us from God. But all he wants is a relationship. God wants a relationship with you where you talk to him, he talks to you, and you have somebody so powerful by your side and through your life that will help you through every difficulty, and difficulties will come because scripture tells us so. There will be trials and there will be tribulations, but Jesus, but Jesus is pure love. He paid a high price for you and for me. He shed his blood for you and for me so that we can be forgiven. When we acknowledge what he did on the cross and we repent, we say, sorry God for the wrong I've done in my life and invite him into our lives. That's a new day. That's the first day of your new life. And then scripture tells us then you are a new creation. The old has gone and the new has come. This is the most exciting life ever, ever. It took me a, lot, a long time in my life to discover this Jesus and this God that I'm talking about. And you know, this is good news. This is good news. And that's why we're here sharing the good news of Jesus. Thank you for listening.